What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of The Binding of Isaac Repentance. Today we're going to do one more challenge, I think, before we start another character playthrough. Let's do I Rule. Okay, so this, <laughs> once again we start with Mom's Knife. That feels like a very common theme these last few runs. We're starting with Mom's Knife, we got the shield, we got the boomerang. It's basically like a Zelda-style playthrough. <laughs> All right, let's do this large room over here. I don't remember what these item or what this challenge unlocks. I haven't really been looking at what the challenges unlock. I just know we need to get the challenges done anyway. So we're just gonna go ahead and knock them out. Okay, so it looks like we are going to Mega Satan since we have the key. That looks like the icon underneath our keys over there as well. So this is a Mega Satan run, so we need to make sure we're nice and strong and got plenty of HP for that. Or at least plenty of damage mitigation one form or another. Okay, we found the boss. I don't know if we get items on this. Some of these challenges we do, some we don't, and I don't think there's any way to know unless you look up the challenge. Which I have not done. Okay, we have a cursed room, or a sack room. There is a cursed room, actually, but that's not the room that I was trying to call out before. Okay, no item rooms. That looks like that's going to be our super secret, though. Mmm, those are all different pills. Yeah, I'm not going to take any of those. Okay, so no item rooms. Everything that we are getting is coming from either, like, a deal or sack, something like that. Can't really stop and look in this room. We gotta move, move, move. Okay, we didn't go into the shop. We only have one penny though, so it's not really worth going in there. Yeah, I, mean, I think we just go to the boss. Okay, boss time. Little horn. All right, it should be a fairly, fairly fast boss fight here. Need a little bit more range. There we go. Thank you. <laughs> Speak of the devil. We're out of here. Next floor. Yeah, the boomerang is kind of a cool item. It will allow us to pick up items that are like across a gap. I don't think it'll open chests for us. Like, it can't go through rock. Oh, it can go through rocks, actually. Huh. Will it open chests for us? I actually don't know then. No, it does not open the chest. Okay, so we do need a key to get to those chests. But yeah, it'll also freeze enemies, which is quite nice. I think, does it, yeah, it kills these enemies. It kills flies. All right, there's our key. Let's go over here. Prevent damage from creep and spikes is not a bad early game trinket. Don't really want the pill, but it's in our inventory now. Okay, we need some tier rate so we can charge this knife a little bit faster. Definitely feeling, feeling like we need some more charge time. Some faster charge time. Big bada boom. All right, so we are still looking for the boss then. This will go upwards. Okay, we have some health. There is no way to spend health on this floor as far as I know so far, but Maybe we'll find a blood bank or something. I don't know. Maybe. Okay, and that guy is gone this way.
Got another key. That is perfectly good to have. I think we're gonna full clear here to see what else we can find. Maybe we get something else that's good. There is a shop. Another key. Don't want those pills. What is in the shop? So we can get ourselves a soul heart, which would be good. Let's pull up this guy. Okay, so we'll protect our health so we can get that double deal chance. Don't think we're gonna do double deals on this run since we don't have a lot of health. Does the boomerang kill these? Oh, it does kill... Oh, eh, kind of. I don't think it... Yeah, it doesn't open those. Okay, boss time. Wasn't sure if it would open up the spike chest or not. I know it didn't open up the regular chest because we checked that earlier, but maybe the spikes were different. All right, so tears up is fantastic. We're going to ignore the double deal. And we are out of here. Challenge room. Hmm. Probably not going to do that with one gold chest. Two. Oh, wow. Okay. Nice shot, guy. If it was two chests, maybe, but one just doesn't really feel like it's worth. That secret room to the south, it might be, might not be though. It's kind of a weird room layout here. Oh, we have the ladder. I didn't even realize we started with the ladder. I didn't look at our items. Yeah, okay, so we have the ladder too. We can cross one block gaps. I mean, the ladder makes sense. That is uh, definitely a Zelda item. Okay, secret room can't be there on the left because there is a narrow room above it. We only have one bomb, so I kind of want to be... Kind of want to be as accurate as possible when choosing which location we bomb at. If we even bomb at all, but... Definitely don't want to be wasting our limited resource here. Yeah, it could be next to that... Could be next to the curse room over there. We just don't know. We don't have a lot of bombs to, uh, to try multiple spots either, so if nothing looks like it's guaranteed... They're probably not going to bomb it. Okay, another heart. Nice. 11 cents. We see what's in here. We want a soul heart, but we don't get it. Fifteen cents for five keys could be something that we do if we get more money. Oh, I keep almost running into those diagonal shots there. Okay, so this is the perfect usage for our boomerang. Oh, it doesn't go that far, dude. What? Hmm. Hmm. I don't think I'm going to waste a bomb to try and get to that one bomb. Just doesn't seem worth it. Yeah, the secret room could be over there above the uh, two by one room. I think we're just going to go. Gertie Jr. All right, Gertie. Oh, champion Gerties. Okay, good. We get a soul heart too. All right, let's go to the angel room first before I do anything. Bible, man, that's a book touch. Not really what we're looking for. Book touch will blow up the angel, I guess, for the higher angel chance probabilities. It is Uriel, so at least we get the, the weaker angel to fight here. 
Oh, you know what? I guess we don't need to fight the angels. We already have the full key piece, right? Yeah, yeah. So unless we get that trinket where they drop normal items. I don't actually know if they drop normal items if we have the full key. All right, consolation prize damage. Damage is good. Let's go into the cursed room. We'll take a moment. Go over there since we don't have any soul health right now. And fill up our heart right there. There's another halfie on the ground in case we take a little bit of damage in that room. And yeah, this looks like seeker room. Like I thought originally, but I wasn't sure. Cracked orb. When you take damage and locks, locked doors in the current room reveals a random room destroys all tinted and crawl space rocks can open story doors can reveal the ultra secret room. That seems pretty good. And we are out of bombs now, but we got money, so I think that's worth it. Okay. Okay. Not okay. Can I do this? Grab this and then we get out of here? Oh, it didn't work. <laughs> that's fine. Uh, okay, so we found where the Ultra Seeker room is. Not that that's really helpful, but I mean, that's cool that the Cracked Orb does that. I think we've seen that mechanic before. Yeah, we would need a cracked key or a red key to get to that ultra secret room or maybe the teleport item like teleport 2.0 could take you there. I actually don't remember if that does or does not. I don't think it does, though. Um, yeah, I think we're done here. Let's grab this and we're out. All right, caves two. Let's get rid of this eternal fly before it hurts somebody like me. No poo trinket out of all those poos, huh? Okay, that's fine. No, 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 that's fine. I actually, you know what? I actually didn't even want the poo trinket. Game. <laughs> oh. Hey, we got a bomb. Hey, we got another bomb. Stay back, bomb. Fully recharges your active item at the start of a boss fight. Eh, I mean, that's cool, but we don't really need that right now. There might be a point in this run where we will need it, but right now, I'd rather have the creep and spike protection. Get a key back, which is great. Oh gosh, that got me. Hey, but it opened up the secret room over here for us, so I guess that's a plus. I guess. Walking over spikes feels so wrong, but we got the trinket to do it. Worms. Mm-hmm. Go, 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 go. You're done. You're done. So we have three bombs, huh? Super secret. Could be off the room right next to the boss room. It could also be here downwards. I feel like here's more likely. For some reason, I felt that way. We've already found the secret. Is there any reason to clear more of this? I guess we could find more health. Oh, I mean, money's good too. 
I like how that pushes the other coins out of there. That's kind of nice. Kinda. Alright, we're gonna clear. Probably shouldn't do this, but we're doing it. Alright, we found a shop so we can spend our money or find greed. Okay, the portals at the start might actually be pretty good. The soul heart is pretty good. Let's blow you up. Uh, five cent key. I think we just leave that all alone. There's another room down here. A pill. Alright. I think we go. We go fight the boss and move on to the next floor. I can walk over the spikes, but instinct tells me to not do that. Mega fatty. Yeah done, mega fatty, yeah done. Damage up is good. And we got our angel room, which is fantastic. Miter is okay. Not much we can do about it though. I'm not gonna bomb for any soul hearts in there. I think we're good. We're good. Let's go. Teleport you to the secret room. All right. Higher deal chance. Oh, the secret room is like right here off this one. This is a scary room to be in. I don't want to be in this room. Blow yourself up. Okay, so now we are uh, low on soul health. I know I don't need to do this, but since like if I run into anything <laughs> with the knife, like, I can blow it up. I just am taking extra precaution there. Let's see what's down here. Um... If we find more soul health, we might do that. That actually seems pretty tempting. But before we do that, I'd like to fight the boss so we have the highest chance of getting another deal. I guess we could blow up these. It could give us a black heart or a Hierophant card. Sherry Invincibility. I think I'd rather have that than this nasty pill. This way. We'll just wait. Very good. Let it charge. Don't get hasty, just let it charge. Mm -hmm. Nice, and a marked rock, please, some soul hearts. One. But one is still pretty good. All right, so we can bomb these to get across. Oh, you know, we have the ladder, what am I doing? Guys, we have a ladder. Oh, free key, that's pretty good. I didn't realize we had a ladder at the start, and then after I realized we had it, I forgot we had it. Goodness. Alright, in here, another soul heart. Man, we're getting lots of soul health now. This is fantastic. Member card, also pretty good. Let's grab this. Black heart for eight. I kind of want to take damage to blow up my gold heart, which will give us more money. There's really nothing in here that I want except for maybe the bag, maybe the black heart. Let's blow this guy up. We have exactly 19 cents for this school bag. 
What was upstairs? I don't remember. Hmm. I'm gonna take the school bag. We probably won't need it. But I'd rather have it and not need it than want it and not have it. Alright, we go. Feels like a long way to go. It feels like Super Seeker right here. If not, we can get a chance for two Soul Hearts. I don't think I'm gonna be taking those. Pills don't care about. Man, what is this floor layout? This is weird. Okay. Uh, we kill the boss. We're gonna go back to the challenge room and maybe into the cursed room. The cage. It's a green, the cage. Whoa. Whoa. The cage, please. Hey, lucky penny. Super bandage. Health, soul hearts, heals one red heart. There's a sack room, too. Um... You know, we're, we got some things to do here. We got some things to do. Let's not get hasty here. I'm gonna walk across these spikes because I have that trinket. I keep forgetting, but... Habit is a habit. <laughs> I think... I think we go into the sack room. And depending how we do in the sack room, we might go into the cursed room. Okay, we're up to 15 cents. Yeah, let's go ahead and start dropping off health here. Because we're getting two more soul hearts from that super bandage, right? Okay, back down we go. Chance to teleport. We did not get a chance for an angel item. We got a soul heart. What is this? A sun card? That's very fortuitous. Okay, what's next? Troll bombs, and it'll be Uriel, and it'll be a chance for the soul hearts. Okay, let's use a sun card. The sun. Spawn these troll bombs in. Uriel, we're just gonna leave. Let's go get some more health. Probably should be throwing away those, um... Those rotten hearts at this machine, right? So next one will be chance for the soul hearts or money. I'll just grab this heart. Since it's essentially not threatening in there we'll just touch it one more time like this we got the money not what i wanted but it is still fine strength and the chariot we'll take the chariot oh i should have held off on that soul heart actually because i wanted to go into the oh, okay no <laughs> i wanted to go into the cursed room I also wanted to fight the challenge room. To see what we got. Neither of those are good. Okay, so let's go fill up some of our health. Not this way. I'm gonna grab those rotten hearts, I think. We should have dumped those onto the spike. But I didn't. We should have. But I will take those into the challenge room. We also have one more room that we can go explore if we really want to, but I think we'll just do it this way.
Okay. Get him, flies. Get him. Nice. All right. What was the item in the curse room? Oh, that was the uh, when you get hit, spawns bombs, curse of the tower, whatever the item is called. I cannot remember. All right. So at this point. I think we just go and get that super bandage and we get out of here. We get all, let, man, let's full clear. Let's just do this last room down here. Okay. Actually, we should hit the shop before we get out of here since we have a lot more money than what we did previously. There's a black heart that we can get. We want the lazy worm? No. Stomps enemies every 60 seconds. Don't want that. We'll take the black heart. I'll buy this. We'll blow this up. Okay. I think we're good. Yep, I think we are good. Let's go. Oh, this one takes us directly to the boss room. What floor is this? Depths 2? That would be right into the mom's fight. Mom foot fight. We don't have a way to warp out of there, so I'm not sure I really want to do that. Yeah, we can just walk over these spikes, actually. I mean, the blood trail from these things lasts so long, goodness. Alright, we chose poorly, let's keep going. Downwards. Mm -hmm. Don't think we're gonna do anything there. We'll go over this way. Is that our secret room right to the north of this one? Maybe. How many bombs we got? We got three bombs. I'll, I'll put one here. It seems highly likely. It's not, though. Okay, we go over this way. It could be to the north of us here, but... Uh, planetarium chance... You know what? I think we'll take that. If we can get planetariums on this, that would be real fine. I don't know if you can get them on challenge runs or not, but... Let's just see. Let's just see what we get. Extra cursed rooms. Poo trinket. Uh, is that a Yara? I'm not actually sure what that is. Awas. Hmm, let's buy this mom item here. There's two of these pills. Yellow. Addicted. I don't know what addicted actually does. <laughs> Doesn't sound good though. Let's get this soul heart. We'll blow you up for the higher deal chance. Okay, and let's keep going here. We're gonna full clear, since this is... We can't leave the mom room. Actually, can we even get planetariums? I don't know if you can get a planetarium on a challenge run. Maybe you can't. I mean, if you could, that'd be really cool. Like, we haven't gone into an item room since they don't spawn on this floor. Or on this run. Maybe taking the planetarium thing is pretty dumb, but I don't know. Like, I guess we'll just hold on to it and see. Maybe we'll get really lucky. And it'll spawn in the womb. It says it can. 
We can actually just walk over there. Blood bank. This would be really ideal for having the blister item. So you just walk on those spikes and use the blood bank, but you know, whatever, it's fine. Okay, this way. Whoa, please don't shoot at me, that's rude. There's our heart container. Golden bomb seems pretty good. Uh huh. All right, well, since we have golden bombs, let's just bomb everywhere and see if we get anything. Doesn't look like it. All right. Bomb these things. I'll get the warp card. Uh, yeah, we'll just bomb everything. Maybe we find a trap door. I don't know if you can actually, because like if you do the AWAS, it spawns like the portal to the womb, right? So maybe you can't actually on this. Lead pencil's good. Devil? Bomb bomb. Actually grab this. Black heart, that's nice. Golden keys. Chubb dislikes smoke. That's a hint that you can bomb Chubb. The sun. Okay. Let's do this. We're gonna go back and grab our blister. Wherever we left it, I don't remember. Where did we leave the blister? And then we're gonna use the blood bank, get some more money, maybe get ourselves a blood bag, get some movement speed, extra heart container. How many hearts are on this floor? A decent amount, actually. Yeah, we have a pretty high probability. So much money. Alright, let's go pick up some of these red hearts. Looks like we can see where the secret room is. I don't think we bombed for that, did we? I don't think we did. Right? Yeah, we have not. Uh, did we go in there? No, I don't know. Well, we're gonna. We have golden bombs, so I guess it doesn't matter technically. Bomb all the things. Just a pill. That is a lot of pills. Okay, so there is a halfie over in the boss room and there's a halfie to the north. Oh, yeah, we should definitely bomb these for soul heart chances. Nothing. Black heart chance or a different card. Hanged man. Uh, 
If only we had the safety scissors, we could get like infinite bombs out of that guy, but <laughs> we don't. Hey, hey, perfect. Well, that means we can take the sun with us then. That's pretty good. What else we got here? So I want my other trinkets, the planetarium. Hopefully that's not just a waste. Going to the shop again since we have 56. Broken stopwatch I definitely do not want. I guess we could take this since we have extra money and we have bombs so we can blow this guy up for potentially more money. Fill up our health. I don't think we want the petrified poo. I think we're good. What was this card? Chariot? Yeah, I think the sun card probably makes more sense since we have six hearts. Alright, let's go fight the boss. You done, mama. You done. Okay, so we're going to the dark room and angel plus three health up. Wow. Okay. That makes the sun even more powerful. That's all we can do. Let's go. Okay, our health is looking mighty fine, mighty fine. The only thing I would like now is maybe the paw, so we could like essentially triple our health. Or is that paw just double it? Maybe it just doubles it, I'm not actually sure. Oh, wait, I don't have the uh, you can walk over spike thing anymore. <laughs> oh, whoops. Okay, well, I'm just taking all sorts of damage because I'm dumb. Hmm. This is tempting. We would definitely need... I mean, we have the sun card, so we could use the sun to refill all of our health. That is very tempting. You know what? I think that's what we're going to do. We should end up getting a soul heart out of this, at the very least. Angel room item or soul heart. Troll bombs, then it'd be Uriel, and then we can get more soul hearts potentially. So we're gonna use the sun that'll reveal the entire floor. We touch one more time. We got the soul hearts. Perfect. So now we can come back here anytime we need more soul health. So we can try and keep our deal chance. It's unfortunate we didn't get an angel items. And unfortunately, we did not get warped to the angel room. But that's how it goes. Okay, secret room's right next to the curse room, so we, we're gonna do it that way. Devil beggar. Well, we are going to need. We're going to need a lot more red health on the floor before we can decide to do that. That's for sure. 
There is another cursed room down here, but I don't think we'll be able to get into there for free. Oh, that's the rainbow guy. There's so many ads. The tower. I think there's so many ads because two of those got popped, right? Yeah, I think there was there was four in here when we started. Okay. Whew. We might go in there. I mean, we have extra soul hearts to burn. I would rather wait until like we're done with the floor and we're going into the boss room or we're after the boss or whatever before we throw away extra soul health that way. But we might go into the cursed room with that extra health. Just an empty room. Very weird. More money, another soul heart. That challenge room doesn't seem worthwhile to do. Get him. Come here, you little guys. <laughs> High Priestess. I mean, we don't have a card, so I'll take that with us. Another soul heart here. Okay, let's go into the cursed room. There's two soul hearts without us having to go all the way back. <laughs> Dim Bobo holding a completely uncharged active item. Well, we're probably never going to be doing that. Mm-hmm. All right, so let's grab this. And you're done. Ooh, now our health is completely full, which is fantastic. Downwards. And this is Utero 1. All right, let's fight the boss. The bloat. This will be fun. See, that was a lot of fun. I think we're good on red health. 100% chance to find angel rooms. All right. Well, I guess if that's the case, we don't have to worry about having soul hearts versus red hearts. So. I will take this. I would like to use a Devil Beggar. But we never got, like, really any red health on the floor. I mean, I guess I could have, like, saved picking up that... What was it? Lunch? Dessert? Something that we just got? I could have saved picking that up until we use the devil beggar a little bit let's go there is one more room so we're gonna go clear that i don't know maybe it'll have all of the hearts in there oh there is some health yo is that just a ludo sitting right here ah Imagine that, the very last room, one that you probably would have just skipped, and it's got a Ludo sitting in it. I think we're taking that. This seems overpowered, and I like it. Ooh <laughs> Okay, so there's a full heart in here. Really? Okay, I don't think that was really worth, but I convinced myself that I wanted it, and so we went for it. There's another halfy in the boss room. We can't get that soul health anymore. Is that a chest? Did I miss that chest? 
the two rooms over from the sacrifice or the yeah the sacrifice room I'm not sure all right I think we're just out of here oh hey we didn't see this Okay, I think this Ludo is going to be absolutely ridiculously awesome because they can just throw that on something and then just move away and just dodge and like just constantly doing knife damage. I don't think that did any damage down for us. I could be wrong. Maybe it did do some damage down, but I don't think so. And this is still open. I think we go. Secret room. The sausage. So that's health up. Full health. So that'll refill all of our health. Damage speed, shot speed, range, luck. Devil or angel chance and planetarium chance. I think we just take it now to fill up our health the rest of the way. This is kind of awkward to use, trying to get used to it, but I think I can get used to it. And the knife just sits over there. It doesn't even come close to me. That's awesome. Get it, knife. Do I want to go full red health? I guess it doesn't matter at this point, does it? It's a lot of soulies, though. Oh, okay, well, I just walked over that. That was dumb. I could go back and grab one of those soul hearts. Not that it matters, because we aren't going to lose our angel chance now that we have the other item, but I'll just grab this. Just to keep our health full, so we're not losing red health, I suppose. Um, no, but I can't go through that key block. I think if I get rid of this, I could grab that rune, whatever it is. Yep. It was. It was. And it is a trap door. All right, what's down here? Booger tears. Okay. I don't know how that works with the knife, but. I assume it'll work pretty well. Alright. Yeah, it just puts boogers on things. That's awesome. That's what I wanted to see. I wasn't sure if it would. Got some health. All sorts of money. Whoa, that guy. Kind of focusing on the guys behind me, not like the other one in the room, which is kind of silly. All right, so we do have health on the floor. If I take more red health damage, we can fix it. So not that big of a deal. Go downwards, I guess. On these enemies that kind of move around, it's a, kind 
kind of difficult to get your knife where you want it to go. Well, we have gone the wrong way. Oh, I never went into this room. Right, because we took the, the portal. I think we have two eternal hearts on this floor, so we could get another red heart container. No! Don't touch me! Free keys for the floor! More free keys for the floor. Wow, extra free keys for the floor. Man, those cursed rooms. I'd like to go in there, but I don't think we can. We need, like, the flat file or something. boss room well let's grab let's grab let's go full red health we're gonna do that I wasn't sure if we were gonna do it there's really no reason to not at this point other than we just won't be able to pick up soul health of any drop we'll go ahead and grab these where's the other one? Oh, over here in the uh, chest room and then we have a bunch of red health on the floor, so I guess we could go into the cursed rooms and then take a look at that stuff. Okay, we are full red health. So there's at least three full red hearts on the floor. This is awful. Well, I don't think it was worth, but we had to look. It could have been worth. Don't know. I'll also blow up this guy. Sweet. Got my bomb back and another halfy, so it's all good. There's no marked rocks in here, is there? No. Okay. We are... We're ready to go, I think. Pretty sure we're ready to go. Yep. I'm... I'm feeling like we are ready to go. Secret, super secret. We got ourselves the nose goblin. Yep, we are good. There's a marked rock right here, by the way. Just kind of hoping for the small rock, but we didn't get it. All right. It lives. Mm -hmm. I guess we'll take the rotten heart. Delirious. Right, we have a school bag. I forgot that we have that. There's no reason to fight the angel. We are out of here. Yep, let's go. To the secret room! I didn't see what just hit- Oh! Get rid of this guy, he's gonna blow up. Alright. Taking a bunch of damage already, that's not good. Maybe taking the Ludo wasn't ideal. <laughs> I felt like it was probably going to be good, but now now that I've actually used it in practice, I am not entirely sure it was the smartest idea.
Okay, we will not be going in there. I probably should blow up those skulls, though. A lot of pills. Two of diamonds. Feel like that's kind of a waste. We're already basically full. I think having the high priestess makes more sense for just the one time mass damage. Looking for some red health out of these fires. No, no help. Oh, okay. I just ran right into that ghost. It is difficult to get this knife right where you want it, that's for sure. Black heart that we cannot take. Mm-hmm. All right, red health? No red health. All right, we're just gonna go fight. I obviously counted incorrectly there. I don't know how to count to five, apparently. Okay, so now I need to, like, stand on top of the knife until I see the shadow and just have bait Satan to stomp on the knife. Yeah, this is bad. I should not have taken Ludo. Okay, well, we got a heart back. <laughs> Hopefully that's going to be enough. Let's go. You know what? I actually forgot that we will be able to give up some hearts here. When Isaac has no red hearts, gain flight and a chance to trigger a shield. So if I take Rotten Baby and the Empty Vessel, then I can get some extra health that way. Maybe we'll hold off on this until like things are looking a little dire. Uh huh. I definitely want to see if we can get ourselves some more upgrade items here. Oh, can we get dead cat out of this? Maybe. Maybe. Please just die. No dead cat. Okay. Dude, stop! Oh my goodness, these guys. They're like dodging my knife. Making it real difficult for me to kill them. <laughs> Try and get these ads. Okay, more ads. Nice. This is not looking real good as far as health goes right now. Oh my goodness.
Okay. <laughs> Having to like focus mode real hard. My knife just keeps like slipping right on past these guys without doing anything to them. Um, all right. We're going to go back to the start. Since holding on to all of these empty red heart containers isn't really doing much for us. Let's grab this thing. Having flies is going to help us out tremendously. This will give us two black hearts. Maybe we should hold off on taking that for later. I just walked right into that. No. Judgment. Judgy, we need you. I have to go take that empty vessel, otherwise we're gonna die. Unless Judgy gives us some health here. Okay, I mean that works. This should give us a lot of health. There we go. Now we're making now we're making health. We'll come back. That was actually very, very good. Stop moving, ding guy. <laughs> nice. And we get an item, juicy sack. Juicy sack is not an ideal item that we get, but you know, whatever. We got more money, that means potentially more health from the gambling machine. Okay, let's clear this room. Nice. Okay, a little chubby. Can't see what's going on. Don't like that. Mr. Longlegs. Yep. This is not ideal. This is might be where we just die. Okay, well we didn't die and we got a heart back so uh i feel like we should go use the gambling machine just a little bit more <laughs> we have 40 cents it can also give us money okay we did end up getting a bit of money out of it Four cents remaining. All right, well, that's all the money that we we got. I'm gonna YOLO some of these pills. Health down, perfect. Tears down, perfect. This is why I don't take pills, in case you're wondering. <laughs>
Well, do we go try and fight Mega Satan like this? Because that's that's all we need to do for the challenge. Like, we don't have to do anything else. I mean, I would like to try and find more stuff, but it's not looking very likely. So let's grab this. We're just going to go try and fight Mega Satan as is. I don't think we're going to get much more health. We're just going to end up losing more. So we have the High Priestess. We have the Delirium. We have our shield. All right, we're just going to do this. See if we can kill these hands. Doesn't really feel like the knife is doing a whole lot of damage. Okay. Base change is good. I'd really like you to drop a soul heart, please. You did not. Didn't think you would, but just kind of hoping. Okay, I need war to get out. Or not war. I need death to get out of here. Okay, we got the pony. War is now after us. Get the pressure on. Okay, there's one. Oh, dude, I didn't even see this guy. We still have the angels that we're going to have to fight too, so I don't want to be on the left hand side of the room. If I pop a little delirium, does he just like do a one bounce and like pieces out? Like I don't know how that works. I kind of want to save it till there's not like all this stuff in here, unless we're like super desperate. Yeah, you get the other hand. Just put it right on Mega Satan's face. Right, this is not Gabriel is Uriel. So we want to stay on the cardinal directions except for south. Get rid of this ad. Please get rid of the ad. Sweet. Another hand to get rid of. Mm -hmm. Okay, we got rid of one hand. Get rid of this one, please. Oh my goodness. Why are you spawning ads on me? So trying to like move my Ludo around and deal with Mega Satan and deal with the ads. Oh my goodness. More ads. Oh, 
Okay, I guess we could have just ignored the hands and just done that. I think we're now... I, I want to say we're home free, but I don't think we are quite yet. Great, I have a delirium that's going to do nothing for us. Try to get those booger tears on there as much as possible. It's about the only thing I can hope for at this point that's going to work. Please don't get hit, please don't get hit, please don't get hit. I do have triple orbitals. Woo! Okay. Triple orbitals for the win, I guess. No, my guy died. Ooh, that was not easy. <laughs> All right, well, we ended up winning. Let's claim our prize. Poker chip has appeared in the basement. All right, guys, that is it for this episode of The Binding of Isaac Repentance. If you liked it, hit the thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what I did wrong, what I could have done better, or if you got any tips or tricks for me, leave them down there as well but that's it for today thanks for watching we'll see you next time bye bye